You know, I had the best summer ever. I spent my summer biking through France and on the beaches of the Hamptons here in New York. And while sitting on the beach, a friend of mine revealed a secret that she'd been withholding for months. And you know, that inspired today's show. Our guests say their summers won't be complete unless they finally reveal their deep, dark secrets to their loved ones. And even though they don't know how those secrets will be received, they've gotten up the courage to take the chance today and take a look at some of the reactions they got when they told their secrets. <laughs> um. <laughs> and guess what? I'm going to reveal to you what I've accomplished over my summer vacation. Believe me, this is a show that you don't want to miss. My guests are here to say, summer's over. Listen, baby, it's time I get the secret off my chest. <laughs> fun today. They say the key to a healthy relationship is honesty. But my guests today admit they haven't been honest with their loved ones and are here to come clean and reveal their summer secrets. Ooh. <laughs> now remember, we need to be supportive here as I'm starting a riot. It has taken a lot of courage for them to come here today and revealing these secrets may drastically change their lives. Our first guest, Rhea, says she's sick and tired of her man, Rob, dumping all over her with his male chauvinist attitude. And she is here to reveal her summer secret. Now, Rob is in her isolation booth and cannot hear anything we are saying. Rhea, tell us, what is your summer secret? Well, I've been um, fooling around with Robert for eight months. Wait, what's fooling around? Fooling around, that means... He was my boyfriend. Okay. Okay, I've been dating him for eight months, and he just think I'm his slave, and slave days are over. And... Summer's over, and I'm here to tell him so are you. See? So you're, you're here today to kick him to the curb. That's right. Tell me, he's been treating you like a slave. How does he treat you? He think I'm supposed to clean for him, go to the store for him, shop for him. I have two kids, I can't take three. <laughs> you've been putting up with this for about eight months. Why are you ready to do it now? Have you tried to dump him before? Let me get that understood. Okay, when I first met him, everything was fine and dandy. I do for myself, you do for yourself. But it seemed like somebody put a bug in his ear that a woman's supposed to do everything. I'm not the woman that they're talking about. So I have to take care of me and only me and my kids. What happens if you don't clean up for him? What happens if you don't do the dishes and cook and do all the shopping? He'll threaten me with, I'll get someone else to do it. Go find them. I need laundry done if that's how it is. <laughs> so are you ready to reveal your summer secret? Yes. I sense that she's ready. I don't know. <laughs> Confident woman. And you know, I mean, if, if it's true, if this is truly the way he's been treating you, you deserve a lot better. That's right. It takes 50-50 in a relationship, right? That's right. All right, are you ready to meet Rob, everyone? I sure am. Rob, come on out. It's showtime. Welcome. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Rob, I understand that you have a special philosophy about women. Why don't you tell us about it? If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense for women to be around me. <laughs> Simple like that. It's eight women in the world to every one Wait, man. 
Wait, wait, wait. There's what? There's eight women? Eight to one is my ratio the last time I counted. It's eight to one the last time I counted. Count me out. Count me out. Eight to I'm one. Out. Well, you know, your girlfriend Rhea brought you here today to reveal a secret, a summer secret that she's been withholding from you. And we're going to give her, we have three clues for you, okay? We're going to give you three chances to guess, okay? Mm -hmm. Here's clue number one. Take a listen. <laughs> What's that, Rhea? That's him, a male chauvinist pig. All right. I want to hear the other ones before I get mine. Clue number two is behind that door over there. What's behind door number two? Uh, we have some cleaning equipment, an iron and a mop. What's that mean, Rhea? That's for him. For everything that you want, you do it yourself. Thank you. And finally, clue number three is under that box. Let's take a look. Oh! It's a garbage truck. What's That's that mean, Rhea? That's because I'm dumping you. <laughs> oh, okay. It's on me now. Rob? Now it's my turn. Rob, I'm just looking out here. Where's the other seven women? is a few minutes and she'll be replaced in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Do I look like I have a problem with this? No, no, no. 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 Right. Guys, what do you think about this? Yes. Listen. Ma'am, come on over here, ma'am. <laughs> Please bring her up there. Yes, honey. Girlfriend, you is too fine to be sitting up there with Humpty Dumpty. See ya. Glad to see you back. Brother, when, when, when she was talking that stuff and you wasn't here, first thing that went to my mind, well, maybe you ain't treating her right. Maybe she want to be your wife or something. But after listening to you, I think she might be right what she's doing by kicking you to the curve. And I say something else. If I'm wrong, I think you're about to lose your prized possession. She has gone away. And you'll find that she's not that easy to replace. Do you watch BET? It's morning time. Good evening. You call Good the evening. shots, my man. Good she's evening. Gone. She does seem like a very classy lady. I ain't even had my chance to speak. First of all, let me tell you something. Life is not an ultimatum. She can't give me an ultimatum. Life is she about choices. She just did, Rob. Wait a minute. Life is about, okay, life is about choices. That's what life is about. Life is about choices. If it's something in your life that you do not like, you change it. You don't run around getting ultimatum. So, that's why. But when you leave, just don't forget to get your purse. I don't want you coming back interrupting somebody else's time. Get your little purse, get your little hat, and I'll holler at you. I will holler at you. Don't just don't don't come at me with all that game. All right. I'm a master when it comes to these. So what kind of guys? I'm talking come about these funky ones. I'm a master no, when it comes to these. Let me tell you something. Rob, Rob, stay with me for one second, okay? okay? Are you sweating this? I mean, it seems like, you know, you you got this whole thing going that you don't care about her, but maybe you do because you're you're acting strange. I care about any of mine. Any of mine that's around I'm not me, any I care of his. about I them. I got that straight. I'm gone. You're gone. gone. You're out the door. You're going to the beach. I'm gone. All right. Rob, I wish you luck. All right. When we come back, a man will reveal three secrets that he has to get off his chest. What are his secrets? Well, you got to stay tuned to find out. And coming up later, this man will find out why someone brought him on today's show. Yeah, before you know we can get committed to anything, I got a little secret I need to reveal, too. That might be the secret. Let's find out. Come in. Get this, everybody. Uptown girl Christy Brinkley has a new fiance. He's architect Peter Cook. And Peter just planted Christy with a brand new diamond and sapphire engagement ring that's reported to be worth approximately $50,000. Well, no wonder she left Billy Joel.
riding, fasten your seatbelts because the ride only gets better from here. My next guest, Eric, has three secrets that he wants to reveal today. And get this, there are two people backstage in our isolation booths whom he is going to come clean to. Eric, we're gonna start slowly and build up from here. Tell me, what are these sexy, sexy secrets that you want to reveal? I just got revealed to my sister's girlfriend that I'm in love with her and I want to be with her. So wait, okay, you're in love with your sister's best friend. My best, her best friend, Brenda. And neither of them know this? No. <laughs> How many of us wish that we were that best friend? <laughs> Eric, that's so nice. And you are convinced that this woman, what's her name? Brenda. Brenda. You are convinced that Brenda has been flirting with you? Yeah, she used to, I, I think. Uh, that's the way I take it. She was flirting. So why just, didn't you make a move? Why are you doing it here today? I figured I couldn't compete with her or all the other guys. I ain't had no car. I wasn't working at the time. <laughs> How many of us are falling for Eric? <laughs> wow, that's so sweet. So, so what is it about Brenda that you like so much? It's everything. She got the right height, the right size, the complexion, the walk, the talk. Everything. And I know she has a child, and you want to be the father to this baby. You're not the father of I'm this not baby, the father. but you'd like to be a dad to this mm -hmm. baby. Okay. <laughs> I can't make it tears in my eyes. We, I mean, we love this. We want this to happen, don't we? Yeah. How's your sister gonna take this? She knows nothing about this. She knows nothing. She's here. Yeah, they're both here. Are Are you ready to tell your sister what's going on? Right. All right. Let's. Let's, we're gonna send you off stage first and get a sense of what your sister knows or doesn't know what's going on, okay? okay. We're gonna send you behind door number three, and we'll see you in just a minute, okay? All right. All right, are you guys ready to meet a sister, Dawn? Yeah. Dawn, come on out. See you. Welcome. How do you feel? You feeling comfortable? Yeah? yeah. A little nervous? Do you have any idea what's going on? No. Well, you know, someone came here today because they want to reveal a secret that they've been withholding from you. Do you have any idea who that person might be? No. We do, don't we? <laughs> All right. We're going to give you a little hint. He's behind door number one. Door number one, come on out. Uh... Oh, no? Did you know that guy? Oh, that's just Marvin playing tricks. Door number two, come on out. Uh... All right, no, that's just Mansoor. Thank you. It must be behind door number three. Let's see who has to reveal the secret to you. What's behind door number three? Making Dawn crazy. She has no idea what's going on. You want to know what's going on? Yeah. I just gotta tell you that I can't because I'm in love with Brenda. And I want to be with you. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't hold it back no more. You got that, right? He, he's in love with your best friend. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about that? I, I knew he liked her. I mean, I. Uh... He's in love with her. <laughs> How do you think she's going to react to the, this bit of news? I have no idea. Should we find out? Yeah. Let's find out. All right, let's bring her out. Brenda, come on out. Eric, take a deep breath. Don't you look nice? Welcome. You're just laughing because you didn't know it was him, did you? No. Who is, who is this guy to you? My girlfriend, friend. Brother. I mean, brother. <laughs> well, he brought you all this way because he has something he wants to say. You know that I liked you since I first met you. And ever since you had the baby and everything. I mean, I just had the feeling inside me here. I just, I'm in love with you. <laughs> but wait, there's more. 
Eric? She's convulsing. I have a poem. You have a poem you wrote as well. Okay, don't don't respond yet. Wait. Let's hear the poem. Some panties are green, some panties are blue. Yours are the panties I'm most drawn to. They struggle your butt. You know you were doing great until the panty poem. <laughs> Oh, I won't finish it. Amen. Thanks. I'm seeing somebody. Wait, what's that? I'm seeing somebody. Oh, oh man. <laughs> like a dagger in our heart, right? Oh. Eric, how do you feel? Can you... I don't know. I mean, I still got the feelings for you. No, but I, I just started seeing somebody. I knew him from for years. Okay, so you're not attached to this person. <laughs> I say that. I mean, have you had feelings for Eric? <laughs> Come on, he's, he's a my, cutie. He's my girlfriend's brother. I mean, <laughs> so, all right. If she don't want him, how many girls out here want Eric? <laughs> I thought so. Well, you know what? You guys are young. You got your whole lives ahead of you. Who knows? Maybe down the road something will happen. All right? Good luck, Eric. Very brave thing. Coming up next, a woman who told her man to hit the road in the beginning of the summer will reveal her sexy secret next. And later in the show, I'll let you in on my summer accomplishment. Don't go away. There's much more. What's the secret you want to reveal to me? Okay, hon. Um, I know that in the beginning of the summer we broke up. You won't believe this one. Sultry actress Nastasha Kinski's been hanging out with Lois and Clark superhero Dean Kane. Nastasha, of course, is on the rebound from producer Quincy Jones, but I guess Quincy couldn't leap tall buildings with a single bound. are telling loved ones secrets they thought they would never have enough courage to reveal. My next guest, Erica, says she's not sure how her ex-boyfriend, Mateus, is going to respond to her secret. And that's why it's taken her a while to get up the guts to tell him. Mateus is in our isolation booth and has no idea why he's here. I see him right now. I'm waving. Hello. All right, before we meet Mateus, tell us, what's your secret? Okay, um, me and Mateus have been dating off and on for four and a half years. Uh, we have a 23-month-old son together. And um, I broke out with him before the summer because I wanted to go out and have my fun. And now that the summer's over, I'm ready to get him back. I'm ready to be back together with him. Wait a minute, does it work that way? She wanted to have her fun and now she wants him back? Why didn't she think of this two months ago, three months ago? Well, it all happened because um, my friend went away for two weeks and he's really jealous. And he doesn't like me around my friends or any kind of friends at all. And um, he didn't want me to go, and I wanted to go anyway, so I went and we got in an argument, and that ended it. And, and you said that I want to be single. I want my freedom. Right. And he, there's a, there's a lot of problems. I mean, I told him if we're going to be together, I want our own apartment with our own child. And he'll get paid, and he'll go spend his paycheck on other things, and won't even... All right, but we're not even talking about the problems with him. We're talking <laughs> about what you did this summer. How do you think he's going to re react to this bit of news that you want him back? I have no idea. We've I... been off and on for four and a half years, so I'm... I don't know. We, we get along pretty good, so I, I don't know. I'm you, hoping... you hope to marry him someday? Oh, yeah, someday. We've been engaged three different times. <laughs> three different times, so... But you're, you're sure that now that summer's over, you want him back? 
Yeah. Are you ready to tell him how you feel and what you came here to say? Yeah. All right, we're going to send you off. We'll give you some breathing room, and we'll bring him out, okay? Okay. See you soon. Okay. Wish her luck, everyone. <laughs> Let's welcome Mateus. Mateus, welcome to the show. Welcome, make yourself at home. What's going through your mind right now? You have no idea who brought you here. No, nah, I don't have none. A any clue? No, nope, not none. None. I don't know. Should we let him off the hook? Yeah. All right, let's, let's see who brought him here and what that person has to say. Come on out. Do you know this person? Yeah. Who is she to you? It's my ex. It's your ex. <laughs> Speaking of ex, Erica, what's the secret you want to reveal to him? Okay, hon. Um, I know that in the beginning of summer we broke up. And um, this is... Oh God. And um, I just think that it's about our, that time that we get our stuff together and get back together and stay together. What do you think of that, sir? I think if she wants him back this time, she should have to work hard for it and really prove it. She should go out and do something silly and crazy just to prove she really wants him back this time. What do you think? Should we have her do something silly, crazy? Yeah? yeah. yeah? yeah, yeah. Make her beg for it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take you up on that suggestion. Thank you, sir. Erica, we are going to send you on the streets of New York with a bullhorn. And I want you to tell all of New York how much you messed up and how badly you want Mateus back, all right? And we want you to find New Yorkers that will convince you, con con convince Mateus to take you back, all right? You think you can do it? I think so. You better be sweating, girl. <laughs> Mateus, how's that for you? You gonna sit tight and see what happens? Yeah. All right, let's send you out there. Thank you very much, Erica. Good luck. <laughs> Hi, you are Feline. Stand up if you would. This is Feline, and she wants to tell Scott a very deep, dark secret. Now, as you can see, that's Scott on Fifth Avenue, and he has literally no idea why he's here today. Now, Feline, I want you to get ready and get set, get up on that stage and get ready to tell him your secret, okay? There he is. You know what? We just need somebody to go down and get Scott and tell him that we're ready. Elisa, will you do that? Elisa works for us. Have a big hand for Elisa. Are you going to get him? Thank you. We'll be back with Scott. Coming up next. Don't go away. <laughs> um... <laughs> We do have enough time for me to reveal my secret. Anyone ever spiked your drink and then taken advantage of you? Or do you know someone who secretly puts drugs into drinks just to get a woman? If so, you could be a guest. Call 1-800-GO-RICKY. You must be 18 or older to call. Associate producer Alisa getting Scott off the street and he will join us in just a moment. But first, Feline, tell us what secret do you want to reveal to Scott? Well, Ricky, my secret for Scott is that a couple weeks ago I met him and we were together just hanging out one night and all we did was hug and kiss each other because I'm a respectable girl and just because he's a very sweet guy and Aww. I <laughs> hey, hey, that's very sweet. And let me remind, let me just tell you all, she's only 17 years old. We, no, no premarital sex here, right? No. So you just, you met and you really liked each and other and... I really liked him and we started something that night and I didn't just want it to be one night and I wanted to see if it could go on, if I could date him a little longer. You want a chance to finish it, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> He's just a really nice guy. I had a lot of fun with him and I've talked to him a lot of times since then. 
All right, take a deep breath, because here comes Scott! Hi, Scott. How are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, Scott. Nice to see you. Hey, good looking you boy, huh? <laughs> Did you have any idea who wanted to see I you today? I had no idea who this was. Well, do you know this person sitting yeah, next to you? Yeah, I know who she is. Who is she to you? Feline. Feline. Yeah. <laughs> and she brought you here because Own she Texas. has something she wants to say to you. A yeah. sexy secret. <laughs> well, I had a lot of fun with you that night that we were up at, in Gainesville. And I didn't just want to be one night. And I have a crush on you. And I want to know if we could be together even though we're halfway across the country. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, when, when you guys were I fooling mean, around, we're Scott, you weren't thinking of just one night, were you? I mean, we're halfway across the country. I mean, you know, how is, how is this going to work here? <laughs> I, don't I mean, know. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm interested, but I mean, we're 2,000 miles away. I'm in Florida. She's in Texas. Texas. I mean, it's not exactly around the corner. It's, it's, it's far. and. Uh, I so mean, is the answer no? It's not really. <laughs> it's not that rational. I mean, you know, it's it's, it's far. It's how's this gonna work? We're gonna talk a few times a week. All We're right, going you know, to, uh... her mom's here, <laughs> and we need to hear from mom. But your mom. Mom, stand up. <laughs> I don't oh like God. him so much anymore. You don't like him so much anymore. She was good enough to to fool around with oh, one I'm night. Not no, it wasn't like that. He was, no, 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 no. Okay, no, okay, okay. And no, no, I take that back. I take that back. What? No, she said there was no real fooling around. And I believe that. But, you know, he lives in Tampa. She lives in Miami. And I just feel he's not worth the effort she's made. Oh, wow. <laughs> See, but I had to say on Scott's behalf, he came here not knowing who was coming to surprise him. They do live, they are going to be living halfway across the country. And they're both young. I mean, to make a commitment on a stage today is not very realistic. I'm not asking him to, like, marry me or, like, my, boy, like, my, my permanent boyfriend. I mean, what he does when he's away from me. You know? So she wants an open relationship. Yeah, like, when we're together, if we can be together, because I can't expect him, you know, living in another university, in a fraternity house, to, you know, try to be stuck with one person. You know? So Scott, how's that sit with you? That's fine with me. I mean, uh... <laughs> I mean, she's definitely. a lovely girl. Huh? She's a yeah, lovely she's girl. she's a very nice girl. Yeah, definitely. Okay, you know, I can't help but feel a little bad because he feel, you know, he, he's having to, like, talk to all you guys and answer to you guys. Can we send them on a date when they're in the same town? Can we afford to, to send them out? All right. Why we'll be happy tonight? to do that for you, okay? <laughs> Why not tonight? Have fun! <laughs> We come back, a man and a woman who have been together for two years will reveal a secret. They will each reveal a secret. How will they react? Find out next. And coming up, I'll reveal my summer secret accomplishment. Don't go away. What is it you want to say to Jerry? Well, basically, like I said earlier, that I love you and I just feel like it's time. Make it a happy ending. Are you going to take her back? She wants Mateus back. So, Mateus, what do you think? She doing a good job? Mm, I don't know. I don't think <laughs> You're so. You're still making up your mind. Yeah, she yeah. has to work for it. Yeah. All right. Back. We'll check back with you later. Sometimes we hide secrets because we're afraid of what might happen when others find out. Meet Keisha. She says that enough is enough. She is ready to reveal her secret to her boyfriend, Jerry, and she's ready to face the consequences. Keisha, tell us, what's your secret? Well, Ricky, me and um, Jerry have been dating going on three years, and we have a daughter together. And today I'm here to say that either we're going to get married, I'm get basically giving him an ultimatum, we're going to get married, or we're just going to go our separate ways. Enough is enough. You're willing to lay it all on the line today? 
Yeah, I feel like I'm the best thing he's ever had, and I, I know that we're good for each other, and I know that he loves me, but it's time that we make a commitment. So why haven't you guys gotten engaged in the past? Well, I basically think it's not so much as um, neither one of us wanting to commit. I guess we never really talked about it. So, I mean, I guess today it's time to make a decision to see what we're going to do. It's now or never. You're willing to go your separate ways. I would hate to, but I guess, you know, I, I spent a lot of time with him, so I'll have to make a decision. All so. right. Are you nervous right now? Yes. All right. Well, we're going to send you off, give you a chance to take a deep breath. We're going to meet Jerry, and then we'll bring you back, okay? Okay. All right. We'll see you soon. Thanks, Keisha. Good luck. Let's bring out Jerry. Jerry, come on out. There he is. Hi, Jerry. How are you doing? Welcome. Well, so I know you were backstage and you heard everything that she said, yeah, right? Yeah. And you came here to give to deliver your own secret, didn't you? Yeah, you could say that. Well, we're gonna have a little fun with her today, okay? Right, you have a little trick what. up your sleeve or two? Yeah, I got a bunch All of All right. <laughs> let's let's bring her back to the show. Keisha, come on out. What is it you want to say to Jerry? Well, basically, like I said earlier, that I love you, and I just feel like it's time that we need to make a commitment. True. Or? Mm -hmm. Or we just go our separate ways. I mean, he know how I feel about it. I don't want to leave him. I don't want to lose him, but he knows how I feel about this situation. So basically, what you're giving me is an ultimatum, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh huh? Hmm. Jerry, do you have something you want to tell her? Yeah, before, you know, we could get committed to anything, I got a little secret I need to reveal, too. Ooh. Oh, that might be the secret. Let's find out. Come in. That's Lainey, and she works for us. She's part of our staff, and we just wanted to make you sweat a little. Look at all y'all trip. Take it away, Jerry! I don't even know what you mean. It's all good. It's all good. Reiterate, that was a staff member, Laini. She works for our show. She was, okay. We were having a little fun here. Made you laugh, didn't it? <laughs> All right, we need to take a break. When's, when's, the, when's the date? When are you getting hitched? We'll get back with you. All right. You come back and you marry here if you want. Sounds good? Sounds great. All right, all right. All the best to you. We come back, more Summer Secrets, and we'll find out whether Mateus will give Erica another chance. Don't go away. Mateus, you listen to me. You love that girl no matter what. She is beautiful inside and beautiful outside. You'd be a fool not to take her back. Go ahead. I love her. There are two famous couples on the verge of making it official. Insiders are expecting in the coming year marital announcements from Gwyneth Paltrow and Brad Pitt and Kate Moss and Johnny Depp. Secrets and more secrets on today's show. My next guest has absolutely no idea why he's here. Meet Dave. All he knows is that there's someone who wants to see him and tell him something. Boy, are you brave, Dave. <laughs> so to help you out, we have some clues in our audience. You have no clue? Who's here? I haven't got a clue. Well, we have some clues here in the audience. Some signs. 
spell out things and they're gonna reveal who this person is, okay? okay. All right. Clue number one, hit it. <laughs> okay, I got Any, that part. Okay, you got that part. No <laughs> idea yet? No idea? No idea. All right, clue number two. Oh. <laughs> Pretty good. All right. I haven't and, got a clue. No clue. Wow, there must be a lot of girls out there, huh, Dave? <laughs> no. All right, and finally, clue number three. Everyone says that. <laughs> Everyone says that. Oh, well, no idea. All right, is there any more clues in the house? If you take a good look around, you might see one. Any, any clue out there? <laughs> oh, there's me, the clue. Huh? It's me. Who is that me? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Go on over there and say hi to Dave. Shame on you. I like you, huh? Do you know this person? Yes, I do. <laughs> this is... What's my name? What's your name? I'm Anne. I know. She asked you what your name is. She asked you who I was. I know. <laughs> well, Anne, you brought Dave all this way to say something to him. Yeah. What's your secret? Um, I have a crush on you. Um, I would come down there last year, get ice, <laughs> get pizza and stuff like that, just to look at you. Oh. <laughs> Why, thank you. <laughs> I think you're very good looking. So, what's the chance of maybe going out sometime, Dave? I'm kind of committed right now oh, in a relationship. Okay. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> so, you, you do have a girlfriend, but but you're flattered nonetheless. Yes, I am. I mean, it was awfully nice to, for her to make this, this, very nice. this happen. <laughs> well, wow. Anne, are you okay with the fact I'm that he fine. has a girlfriend? I'm fine. We can still be friends. Okay, yeah. that's yeah. great. All right, thank you so much. <laughs> hey, remember Mateus? We never did find out if he's going to take Erica back. Should we find out? Yeah. Mateus, come on back out here. <laughs> the question of the hour, Mateus. Now, I know you've been watching Erica. She's been running through the streets of yeah. New York trying to tell everybody how bad she messed up. You've been thinking about it long and hard. Yeah. Well, Erica's back in the building, I hear. Let's bring her on out. Erica, welcome back. In high heels yet. Running around in high heels. Mateus, she has worked long and hard this entire hour. Make it a happy ending. Are you going to take her back? Well, you have a baby together. I'm saying, is she? <laughs> oh. All right, let's hear what he has to say. All right, is she, if she's going to be serious, and, and she's going to, we're going to be a family. And you're like, going to be a family, and? Yeah, and if this is what you really want, and you're going to stop playing games and mature, you know what I mean, grow up, then, uh, then. No, you don't even, <laughs> no. Okay, so you will take her back if she does all these things. Yeah? yeah? Is that good enough for you, Erica? Yeah, he, we both have to change. We both have to change. It okay, so are you ways. back together? No. <laughs> <laughs> all right, enough about them. When we come back, I'm going to re reveal my secrets, so don't go away. But we do have enough time for me to reveal my secret. Now, I know what you're all thinking. And no, that's not my secret. But something did come into my life this summer. I discovered pottery. I've become a potter, ladies and gentlemen. What? I've been, like, ghost, you know, to me more. I have the haircut and everything. Don't you want to see what I made this summer? Others. All right. 
When it's what you're all thinking, you'll be the first to know. You know, it takes a lot of courage to come on national television to reveal secrets like some of my guests have done today. And I hope that by revealing their secrets, they were able to move on to happier days of their lives. I hope you all had fun. I know I had. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Promotional fees have been paid by the following.